So here we go. We've got the new Cyclops Star Ace. So this is the the outer box. So both sides are identical, and it's just got Star Ace, Cyclops, Soft Vinyl Statue. So I'll open this up and we'll have a look. So we get two boxes. Um, this I'm guessing is the ba base, quite heavy, and the Cyclops itself. So I'll unwrap these guys now. So beautiful picture there of the Cyclops itself. Pretty amazing, one eye giant creature. So we'll look at the other sides. Yeah, we've got the Cyclops there with the figures. I just love that Cyclops logo that they've done with the eye for the O. Awesome. And at the back, it just shows the features. It's one um, articulating eyeball and also the jaw seems to be articulated. So let's have a closer look. This is what we're going to get. Kind of like the old figure that I reviewed, you know, like strong hands, um, um, you know, like menacing eye or whatever it said on the box. I can't really remember. And also available Nimir and the other stuff. And look, we've got the Star Ace and X Plus. And I am going to review both of these guys next to each other after I review this. So that's going to be a fun video to make. On the other side, we've just got uh, a bit of information about the legend himself. And obviously when he was born and when he died, rest in peace, Ray. So we get a whole lot of packaging here. Um, the original Cyclops that I've got from X Plus comes in from a styrofoam box. This is lighter, but the base is pretty heavy. Yeah, we've got our sailors, some weapons, the base, and Cyclops with his club. So I'll put this guy together and we can have a look. So here we have the Cyclops. And it is an amazing uh, figure statue. Um, as you can see, it comes with the two little figures and the club, which I think is a really nice addition. So we'll have a look at the sailors and we've got this guy with a spear which slides in, nice detail, solid, no, not, no flexibility. So obviously I think this is one of, um, probably one of Sinbad's best friends, one of the main other characters, I'm not sure which one. But I believe this is Sinbad himself, and he's looking up, thinking, what the hell am I seeing? This thing is huge. It's got this huge club, and I'm about to crap my pants. So nice figure. It really adds to the, to the whole um, scene. And the reason why I believe that Sinbad, I'll just look, flick through his book. You can see the resemblance there. The only difference is the figure doesn't have the the shirt open with the chest hairs and and this awesome pose that we got going on here. So yeah, nice addition. What I remember from the movie this is early on in the movie when they first meet the the Cyclops, I think on the beach when they're running running away and with the evil wizard but anyway let's put these two guys aside and yeah so the cyclops itself just sits on the stand so we'll look at the stand first now the stand is pretty heavy it weighs i, I think at least twice the weight of Cyclops himself. Like this is solid. Having that logo there, I think is just 
a great addition that looks awesome. Yeah, we just got like the nice sandy textures, bit of logs there, nothing much of the base. And then we just got Cyclops Star Race. So yeah, look, I'll get to a uh, negativity. I wish the figures had pegs so they can kind of peg into the base and same with the Cyclops. So having this displayed and you could, if you knock it, they're just going to fall over. So that is a negativity, which is probably the a minor negativity anyway. So here we got Cyclops. Let's have a look at his face. The texture and the detail is amazing. They really captured the essence of the movie, of the actual character itself in the movie, for all that scaly skin and that woolen kind of legs so look at all that detail on um you know his chest and stomach so we start from the bottom so we got like the hoof and again with the kind of woolly effect and the club slides on and the club itself is really nice like that thing looks so menacing so another negativity you can see like the lines where uh, you don't see it as much on the back oh, a little bit there and a little bit there so these lines when you look at these lines from how it's connected it makes you think that the arms can articulate, which they can't. So that is probably the, a negative point. This could have been smoothed out more, but that's that's about it. So the detail is awesome. Like look at the vein on his on the bicep and the hands. Really scaly. This bit's really nice too the spines and the fold in the neck so let me look at him look at his nose his jaw does articulate which is nice and that comes off it's held with it feels like magnetic a little bit and there's like a little pin in here which if you move your finger I don't want to move the position, but you can actually rotate the eye and see, as you can see, that kind of goes in there. And we've got his classic horn. So overall, the detail is really top notch. Very nice figure. Yeah, see, as it pops onto the base, I just would have really liked to have had just a, a peg there and his leg so it doesn't fall over. And I think you can display him with the club down, I think, as well. It's up to you, but it looks better if the club in his hand. I think that's a great addition. And, and these guys just kind of... They're a bit hard to position as well, but Simba and his mate just kind of that's going to fall over. It's got to got to be really particular with the positioning. He seems to stand better on that side. But yeah, that's probably what I don't like the most about the figure. So. Overall, I'm very, very impressed with this. It's a classic Harryhausen 
creature, probably he's most f famous, as a lot of fans would would um, would say. It's definitely in my top three. It's hard to pick number one. But I have a lot of great memories with the Cyclops because it was the first... The seventh voyage of Sinbad was the first um, Ray Harryhausen movie that I ever saw. So it was a special place in my heart. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to review the current new Star Ace Cyclops with the older, roughly I think it came out in 2000 or early 2000s, X Plus Cyclops. So I'm going to compare them both in a separate video and looking forward to that one. So, so guys, I highly recommend the Cyclops just a few minor issues not having the pegs and the seam lines but the detail is top notch it's probably the most accurate Cyclops I've seen in, in figure form and I believe that X Plus and Star Ace they tried to replicate the original um, Ray Harryhausen models as much as they could so yeah great stuff thanks for watching